Hey guys, hope you're well. So I'm taking a break from Turbo Tools programming for a couple of days, and I thought I'd instead do a quick video on how you can apply UVs or texture to a really bendy surface, like for example a road. So let's jump in. Uh, I'm going to use a road texture from textures.com, but you can use any texture you want. Once you've downloaded it, head into Blender, Shift A, Curve, we'll add a Bezier curve. And we're going to go into the curve properties, and then we're just going to give it a bit of extrusion. You can see it's extruded in the wrong direction, so we'll go into edit mode. Under the end panels, item menu, we'll turn the tilt to 90. I'll press 7 on the keyboard, and then number 5 to go into orthographic view. And we're going to new from material, shift A, and then we're going to search for an image texture. We're going to plug this one into the base color and then we'll choose as a texture. And I'm in the viewport shading material preview mode just so we can see the result. And you can see now if we rotate this around, the texture is going to move with it. If we scale it, it's going to make it scale and bend more. And we can do the same on the other side as well. You can add another one in there if you want to to extrude it out with control right click. Or if you want to add one between two, you can select the two you want, right click and subdivide, and that'll give you another one in between. And you can scale that as well. So that's the basic idea. Now what you might want to do is change the repetition of that texture along the curve. So to do that, select the image texture, control T, and then we'll just go into the scale section and we'll scale this along the X. And you can see that's made those uh, road markings a bit closer together. Now, for a bonus, what we'll do, Shift A, and we're going to add in an object, and we'll go with something like maybe uh, Suzanne. We'll scale Suzanne up a bit. Control A, apply the scale, Control 3, and to, that adds a subdivision modifier. Right click, Shade Smooth. I'm going to apply this subdivision modifier by hovering my mouse over this, Control A. And then I'll take the road. I'm going to move the road above Suzanne's bonds, as we say. And then I'm going to click on the road, add a subdivision modifier, just to give it a bit more subdivisions. Change this to simple, and then add a shrink wrap modifier. And then I'm going to choose Suzanne as the target, and give it a tiny bit of offset. And you can see we've got that perfect road that we can then move around as we wish. Just kidding, it's a very strange result. What we'll do is change the wrap method to target normal project and that will fix that. And there we are. So that's how you would apply a texture to a, a curvy surface like a road and then how you would get that road to conform to any object such as a hillside or in a more realistic scenario, a Suzanne head. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel and also make your renders up to 960 times faster with cycles, check out Turbo Tools. It now comes with a temporal stabilizer as well, so you can even render animations up to 40 times faster. So there we are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.